Hey everyone, Jared Small Pets here. So I'm just here with a quick video. Uh, it's not the one that I have scheduled. I've already filmed that one, but this one needs to go up now um, because it's kind of something that's it's been weighing on me for about a week. But then uh, something happened directly to me that I was like, okay, this video needs to happen. Um, basically, what this topic is is the importance of a pet sitter for small pets, especially like something like guinea pigs and rabbits. Um, I have, you know, I have a chinchilla, I have a hamster, and I also have a daegu. However, the most attentive, like attention needing, seem to always be my guinea pigs. Um, I argue day to day that guinea pigs are more work than a dog, um, minus like a useless puppy, but like as a, like as an adult. Um, and I don't think enough people get that. Uh, basically, about a week ago, somebody that's fairly decently well known on Instagram um, had their second big health health issue that really really bothered me because it was 112 percent preventable. Um, their pet sitter bailed on them last minute, and they went away for the weekend anyway. They didn't think anything would go wrong because it's only a couple days. You know, nothing happens to their pigs on the regular, so why would this be any different? And they came back, and there was a huge eye issue um, and it didn't end well. I'm not going to get into too many more details but basically something 100% pre preventable happened because they didn't bother getting another a fill-in pet sitter. Um, now I'm going to come at this from two angles. One, I have been a pet sitter slash dog walker for over four years. Um, you guys know I'm a teacher but in my off times or when I was at school or when I'm you know in the summertime when I'm not as busy uh, I love doing that. I love looking after people's animals for them. I feel like it gives them a bit of a hand. And so I, I've, I can come at this as both a pet owner and a pet sitter. Um, depending on where you are, pet sitters are not hard to find. Um, I've been people's backups. I've been people's main ones. I've got clients of all kinds. Um, everything from small critters to stuff like, to dogs like cane corsos. Those are my, you know, um, it's, we're very versatile. <laughs> You can get professionals, um, you can get individuals with police checks and whatnot on Kijiji, um, you can get your friends that know your pets, the options are there. It's so freaking important. I don't know where we've got this idea that guinea pigs can be left alone. Um, to give you a case in point, um, we went away. Mike, uh, Mr. Sherwood came with, came to the cottage. I was gone for four days, but he came up for two. Um, so our future housemate and best friend, Deanna, came over and she looked after our pets. She checked on them four times in those two days because I like to have them checked on twice a day. Um, that's, you know, because that's how often minimal, minimally they should be checked on. In those two days, so nothing's happened to them. We've been using the same stuff for ages. We've been, you know, everybody's been healthy. Everybody's happy, whatever. Haven't had any issues in ages. We're gone for two days. Two of the girls' three water bottles broke. Two. Okay? In two days. So, not only was the cage soaked, so she had to put new pads and stuff down, but they would have been without water in July. Okay? So she, acting smart and knowing the pigs, got them, got them dishes because she didn't have water bottles and she knows that the glass ones just drip all over for me. I can't, I can't stand them personally. Um, so she got them dishes, she got everybody dry, everybody checked out. And things are fine. As you can see, they stood at the water bowls. We just got home. I haven't had time to go to the pet store yet. <laughs> My priority was making sure everybody was clean and fed. But that's the thing. Two days. And could you imagine going two days without, with only one water bottle? That would have been six pigs. My girls don't drink very much water, which is why there's only three water bottles in there anyway. But regardless... <laughs> And that would have been my fault had I been like, oh, it's only two days, it's fine, it's no big deal, it'll be fine. She doesn't do really anything for our other pets. She basically makes sure everybody's okay and everybody looks like they've got enough stuff and that nothing's broken. But the pigs, she like, you know, fresh hay, fresh veggies, because they need that every day. So, you know, she was 
without her, we would have been in a lot of trouble and it would have entirely been our fault. Pet sitters are essential. They can check to see if there's any kind of weird freak thing that happens, like what happens if Robin Hood's cysts had a ruptured. Because you know that as soon as you're gone, that's when something's going to happen. It's like, guaranteed. <laughs> um, I can't tell you the number of times doing what I do that I like weird things have happened, but it's just like, of course, because the owner is not home. Now, you don't have to get a professional. Like, I'm not somebody that's considered, you know, a professional. But I will tell you that I have people that I can call in the event that something happens and D can't make it. Um, I have like three other people that I can call and be like, hey, I know it's short notice, but like, you know my pets, will you come look after them, please? And it's not crazy expensive, that's the other problem. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna share my rates because like that's just weird, but like, I can come in and check on your pets and it's not gonna break your bank and it's gonna buy you a heck of a lot of peace of mind. <laughs> because most pet, I'm not speaking for all pet sitters, but most pet sitters do it because they genuinely give a rat's patootie about your pets. They like animals in general, they care about them. A lot of us, it's like a way to by proxy have, like, look after and have time with more pets. Basically, that's what I started doing. I started it in university when I wanted, I missed my dog. So I started, a do like I started dog walking. <laughs> Those are the people you want looking after your pets when you're gone. It's better to have somebody that knows what they're doing come in and just check and be like, yep, everybody looks good, nobody's bleeding, nobody's, nothing's weird, nothing's broken. And then they can shoot you a text and be like, hey, first check-in, they're good. It is so important. I don't know how I can stress this more, but I know this is more of a rambly video, but like the 40 bucks or the 50 bucks that you shell out for a pet sitter or the 30 bucks or whatever is so much better than coming home and either having a dead pet or a sick pet or an injured pet or like starving pets or hot pets. Like, just to give you an idea, we came home, fuse blew like 25 minutes after we got home, okay? Had that happened while we were away and we didn't have a sitter, we would have been screwed. So think with your brains, stop trying to make, and when, say you do make, like do something really stupid and leave them and something happens, don't look for pity on the internet. Okay? Deal with it immediately. There are emergency vets everywhere and don't look for people saying like, oh, you're still a good pet owner because guess what? You screwed up. Get a pet sitter if you're going away. I'm not saying you have to stay at home all the time, but like get a pet sitter. It's not hard. They're everywhere. If you don't have friends that are comfortable with your animals, find a professional. Find a friend that's comfortable with pets. Maybe somebody that you know either through, like rescues often know people that'll do pet sitting. So many options. Like for God's sakes, don't leave them at home by yourself, by themselves. Guinea pigs, and especially, I don't, they're, they're kind of useless, okay? Just think about them being a kid. They're like little dogs, like they, they don't do well on their own. They aren't cats that you can like bugger off for a day and be like, oh, they're fine, because like they're not, okay? So just think about what happened with me and thank God for Dee, because my, my pigs would have been in real trouble. Okay, just be smart, don't be dumb, get a pet sitter.